Hey, what's fucking good? It's your boy Wolfie. And before I even say anything, go down and smash that like button right now. If you hit that like button right now, every single present you want for Christmas, you are gonna get. It's gonna magically appear in your house if you don't hit the like button. This has nothing to do with the fact that I love my legs and I want 200k on every video. Nothing at all. I mean, I don't really care about my legs. This is for you guys. So if you want everything you've ever dreamed of for Christmas, Santa will bring it to your house if you hit that like button. He's not gonna bring it if you don't hit that like button. Okay. So today we are doing one of the most requested series on my channel. For some reason, you guys love when I make shot glasses. It doesn't matter what I make them out of. I made them out of Jolly Ranchers, Starburst. I just made them out of freaking candy canes. But for some reason, in the Christmas spirit, you guys wanted to see me make them out of marshmallows. So I got my marshmallows here. That's and today, not enough. Yeah, it is. That's today we are going to be making marshmallow shot glasses. Ah, Charles. As you guys can tell, my mom's on the camera. Yep. Yeah, just by that angle and the <laughs> fact that she never actually looks at me when she films. The reason we are doing the marshmallow shot glasses absolutely, again, has nothing to do with the fact that your brain is running yeah. out of ideas. Definitely not. The only reason I'm doing marshmallows is because these were gonna expire if I didn't do them. And like, you don't want marshmallows to expire. Come on, guys. Like, They're not gonna bad expire. For the yeah, they are. Where? Look at the expiration date, guys. Where? It says 20 2017. Yeah, March. hold on. 2016. So it's already expired. Yeah, it's expired. So we have to cook them now. Charles. Make the marshmallows! Oh. Let's make the marshmallows! You thought I got one pack of marshmallows? What's this? What's this? What's this? What are these three? Your mother. Okay, I'll be more gentle. We have marshmallows. Aww. I also got chocolate, a little more chocolate. I overbuy quite a bit of chocolate. And lastly, we're not just making normal marshmallow shot glasses. If we can make the small one successfully, we are gonna try and make the world's biggest marshmallow shot glass cut. DIY God, it is what it is. So let's get started. Can you stop filming my knee? I'm not filming your knee. So for the first marshmallow shot glasses. Chris. I didn't mean to do that. I swear to God. You always do that. To talk to this guy's like, yeah, yeah. So for the first marshmallow shot glasses, these ones are simple as hell. Basically, we're going to unwrap one of the bags of the marshmallows. And there's only one way to unwrap the marshmallows. How do we do that, Mom? It's a little harder. Right now. Don't, they're sticky. We don't have anything sharp. No, it's harder. Right? For some reason, these things never open. Charles. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> we got one of the bags open. We're going to have a taste test just to make sure they're not stale. Which they won't be. Disgusting. That, oh. The next step is we grabbed a bunch of sticks. Actually, I didn't buy these. These are left over from Dustin's video. We're gonna find the perfect marshmallow in this bag, which honestly, they all seem to be absolute shit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stab it dead center like this, but don't go all the way through the marshmallow. We are halfway done already. What now- the marshmallow the thing you're gonna make them with? Are you done? The shot glasses mold. <laughs> That's too hard, mom. This oh. is easier than the other video. Oh. So we're gonna grab our torch. So all you have to do, guys, is we're gonna hold this marshmallow and roast every side, except for the side that the stick is poked into. If if you do not have a torch, you can use your stove by turning your stove on and holding it over the hot stove. You can use a lighter. Whatever you want to use, you can use it. But I recommend getting the biggest torch possible in the store and honestly just burning it. So we're just roasting around the edges, guys. Let it get nice and toasty, guys. It looks like it's turning black and it's on fire. Blow it out. It's the flame might be a little too heavy. <laughs> it might. Okay, we got to turn this down. Holy shit. How do you turn this down? Okay, it's burning. Shit. There we go. Turn this off. Turn, okay, that's up. Now all you gotta do, as you can see, it imploded on itself. Imploding is basically exploding except imploding for all you people that didn't know. So now all we're gonna do is pull out the center of the marshmallow and it should come right out. Okay, it didn't come out. Come on out! We got half of it. So there, as you guys can see, already it's a marshmallow shot glass. Now watch this. Does it hold liquid? Well, yes, it kind of leaks. A little burnt. Now we could have done better. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good. Oh. That's amazing. So we're gonna do it again, but this time successful. Guys, this is the strategy right now that my mom's doing. Two tongs. Oh, oh you burnt it. We're uh, now rotating it over the stove. It collapsed in on itself. If you just wait some time and then pull it out, and it's a nice shot glass. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do the first test before we move on to the giant marshmallow shot glass. And the first test is just to see if any of these can hold milk. These ones are way better than what we made before we fucking burnt them all. But do they hold milk? So cup number one. One for one. Okay, okay. We'll give that a half point. I always say that I should have taken the shot quicker. So technically, that's one. Two for two. This one's my mom. If we can get 50%, I'm happy to move on. Four? You know mine don't leak. What do you mean? What do you mean? You know that was mine. That was yours. It says that on it. See, yeah, look. Dad. I think we just have to get one more for that to be 50%. So. 
There we go. We did more than 50% of the cups, which means we can move on to the big cup. So the main reason we picked up these three pots is to use them as shot glass molds. But the problem with these ones is they have like this black thing in them. I don't know if you can take it out. We're gonna need to take, oh, so you can just literally rip this part out. And then we have the clay one because I just wanted to experiment with the clay and I wanna break the clay after I'm done with it. So the only problem with the clay one is it has a hole in the bottom. We don't want marshmallow to leak through, but we got our handy dandy duct tape. So we're just gonna go a quick and just give it a nice tape. Because only marshmallow is gonna be in it, the tape job doesn't have to be amazing. Now what we're gonna be doing is we are going to fill up this bowl with marshmallows. So empty all this bag. Boom, there we go. Fill it up, fill it up. I might have overbought, maybe just by a bit. So now we're gonna put this bowl in the microwave for about a minute, a minute and a half, and watch it, just make sure it doesn't explode. So it's been about 40 seconds so far. So the marshmallows are starting to mold together and they are starting to rise. Okay, you know what? It was supposed to rise. I think I put in one too many marshmallows. So let's take it out. We got a nice gooey substance. So we're gonna mix it around a bit. Oh, that's what we want, guys. This is what I'm talking about. And we're gonna put this in each of these. But before we do that, you already know you need your cooking oil because we do not want it to stick. That's the worst thing that ever happens with any DIY. Give it a nice coat of oil. Honestly, that may be <laughs> too much oil. Oh God. <laughs> now we're gonna grab our paper towels. We are gonna wipe it. Make sure it's nice and lubed. And now what we're gonna do is start making the cup shape in each of these gardening pots. So take that, scoop it in the bottom, mold it nice and well. I'll be back to you guys in a sec when we fucking start to get the base. Okay guys, so once you got the first layer, what we're gonna do, I have marshmallow on my face. I don't care. We're gonna throw it in the freezer for around five to 10 minutes and let it freeze along the edges and then repeat the process a billion times. And there's no space in the freezer. Okay. We'll just put it right there. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so it's been around 10 minutes. We're gonna take it out of the freezer and move on to the next layer to make it more thick. It's already hardened enough to make another layer on it. Thicken it up, guys. We need to build the walls so that it doesn't break. And you have to do this quick because the longer you wait, the marshmallow cools down and it's harder to mold. Make sure to get all the top of the cup. Come on, look how stretchy this is. Round number two, we can put it back. Okay, I can open the freezer. Ha ha ha. Put it back in. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna repeat the same thing with my dad and the one outside until it's nice and thick. So now that these are fully frozen, okay, guys, I didn't waste a single bag of marshmallow, okay? Not even one bag. I pretty much used every single bag I definitely used of marshmallow, guys. Definitely, just not maybe, not one bag? Not definitely didn't waste the bag. So now the next step, now that it's frozen, we wanna make sure that it doesn't leak. And the way you make sure it doesn't leak, what doesn't leak, okay? Chocolate. So when you're melting chocolate, guys, there's one way to do it. You do not wanna burn chocolate, so everybody knows does warm water or cold water boil faster? Because in one of my videos I said warm water, everyone's like, you're an idiot, cold water boils faster. Whatever the science is behind that, someone put it in the freaking comments. Put the science in the comments, guys. And we're gonna put a pot above it. We want the chocolate to melt just from the steam. If you melt it without steam, it's gonna burn. I got the Belgian chocolate, Belgian chocolate, I can't die, goo my pet rat, goo my. g line, be line, can't die. The way you wanna break the chocolate. <laughs> That's how you break chocolate up in Wolfie's house. So as you can see, now we take it out and it's in all the pieces we need. So just repeat the same process, trying not to knock yourself out and everything should be good. So, oh, ah, 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 ah. Do not do that, okay? It's not worth it, and now I have to clean it up. Three minutes later, the chocolate is starting to melt. Now I just gotta stir it around until it all melts. Okay, so now all the chocolate is officially melted. Look at how silky smooth this is, guys. This could not have gone any better. Oh my goodness. And taste test? Not bad! This is actually fucking delicious. So now we gotta coat the marshmallow shot glass, so I'm gonna turn this on low just to keep the chocolate melted, and I'm gonna bring the shot glasses inside. And the reason I'm using three of these is because I always fuck up when I'm doing this shit, so the more chances I have to succeed, the better. And we are gonna grab the chocolate and drizzle it on the inside, and we're gonna cover all of the marshmallow just to make sure that all the holes are closed by the chocolate. And just get the last little bit out there because it's a little too much extra chocolate. So now we've got one full inside coating of chocolate. We're gonna keep doing that for maybe like one, two, Two, three, four, maybe five billion layers. And we're gonna do it the same way we did with the marshmallows. So we're gonna put it back in the freezer for 10 minutes. Repeat, rinse, the same shit. Okay guys, it's very repetitive, but this is what it looks like, freezer time. So we finally finished coating the last marshmallow shot glass. Now it's just a waiting game. So now we're gonna put them all in the freezer, let them sit for like minimum five hours and let everything fully freeze. And then hopefully they should be ready to take out and we can taste test them. Day two. Okay guys, so it has officially been half a day. It's now light outside. I waited until the next morning to do this because I wanted to make sure they were fully frozen. So right now, I'm gonna be using each one of these plates for each of the shot glasses I made. Hopefully we can at least get one out of the three. I haven't even peeked at these at all. So this is what I need all the good luck for, guys. Go down, smash that like button, and here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Literally, 
this is what I expected. This chocolate is fully frozen. Marshmallow is kind of frozen, so hopefully we can get that out. And then this one is the same thing, very sticky. And then this last one, honestly, I don't even have any faith in this one. This one looks weird. Okay, so now we are going to loosen them up by squeezing the outside of the pot and maybe we can get in there. I don't know how we're gonna get it out. Even though we put oil in there, I don't know how we're gonna get it out. So I'm gonna grab a knife and see if I can slide it in the side. Give it a one-two smack. So I'm going around the top edge and breaking the seal, as my dad says. Come on. We've gone a full circle around now, so we're gonna try it again. Ugh. Squeeze it every angle. Really? Come on, just give me the shot glass. Still nothing. And it's still chocolate. The chocolate's starting to break, guys. Oh, something's coming, guys. Something is coming out right now. Here we go, please. Oh, we got the marshmallow shot glass. Yes, the world. My dad's now trying with the clay pot. If this one doesn't work, the reason I got a clay one is because I wanted to smash it. I have a hammer, I got everything we need to break it. So if it doesn't work, it's getting beat up. So he's gonna work on that one and I'm gonna loosen up this one. Jesus! Okay, that's loud, that's loud. We might have to bring out the hammer. Almost there! Oh, yes. We got two guys. Okay guys, so we brought it outside. We got a hammer. My dad's gonna try and break it open without the chips flying into my face. There's gonna be clay in the shot glass. We're gonna have to only <laughs> say we got two. This is ass. You know what happened? This is the oil seeped into, into the clay. Into the clay. Okay, guys, so when you're doing this, don't use clay, but at least I taught you. Actually, you know what? I meant to do this. I definitely just did it so I could fucking show you guys that you weren't supposed to do it, so it's whatever. Okay, one last thing before the taste test. As you guys can see, I carved off the top just because I wanted it to look more like a cup and not like a fucking gardening pot. So now we're just gonna flip it upside down. Now we have one torch. You don't mess around with this torch, okay guys? And as you can see, it's turning into a nice golden brown, which is what we want because A, it's making it less sticky, and B, it's making it look like a nice toasty marshmallow. Okay guys, so now for the biggest test of all, this is the only thing that matters in my shot glass videos. Basically, we're gonna see if it can hold liquid. If it can hold liquid, it's a success, obviously, so it's not even that sticky at all. Like, literally, you can rub your hands up and down it now. Now to fill it up with milk. So I have my 2% late, you already know what it is. We're gonna pop it open. We're limited on time, only because the marshmallow instantly starts melting. The second you take it out of the freezer. Number one, we'll put it in the worst one. And honestly, so far so good. And then the second one, pour it in this one. Also no leakage in this one, guys. So both of them clearly hold liquid easily, guys. Like they're not leaking at all. This one I just spilled. But this one, we're just gonna do the taste test. So we're gonna drink all the milk and then take a nice bite out of the chocolatey marshmallow mix. So here we go. Oh my God, there's a lot of milk in there. That's amazing. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god. The milk chocolate. Let me tell you, the milk chocolate with the gooey marshmallow mixture is ridiculously good. And it's crispy because of the outside too. But there's like six textures in this thing. I need more milk though, so I'll come to my second glass. I know that sounds disgusting, guys, but this is honestly probably one of the best DIYs I've ever made in my fucking life. Nothing beats this. Marshmallow milk chocolate. You got charred outside. It's like actually crispy. 2% milk. None of this fucking skim milk that my mom used to buy. You know that shit, mom? Skim milk? Yeah, I laugh. It was ass, guys. If you drink skim milk, I'm praying for you. It's shit. Anyways, one more bite. Holy shit, is this dense. I'm already full off the three bites. Liquid still chilling in this one. No problem, guys. Just... Ew. No leakage. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that shot glass video. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys are having a dope holiday. And like I said, remember, if you haven't got your Christmas present yet, don't worry. It's still coming as long as you go down and smash that like button right now. If we hit 200,000, everyone's getting their Christmas present that they could ever want for Christmas. So go down and smash that like button. Also, comment down below what you got for Christmas. And if you didn't get anything for Christmas, don't worry. I'm going to toss you a follow on Instagram and Twitter as long as you're active. So go fucking follow me. Like all my shit and I'm going to give you that as a Christmas. Present. Follow Spree tonight, you already know what it is. And I will see you guys soon with another banger video. And as always, stay savage. Let go.